A neat feature in Microsoft Outlook is the ability to include voting buttons in an email. This way, you can poll your users without having to do any sort of tallying yourself. To create a vote, you go into your inbox and choose New Email from the Home Ribbon tab. Click on To and address the email to any Outlook user you want to send the vote to. You can even choose yourself. When you're all done, click OK and put in a subject line. Then go down to the body of the email and you can type it just like any other message. When you're all done, go to the Options Ribbon tab and choose Use Voting Buttons. Outlook gives you some canned choices, but you can also go down to Custom. From here, we can put in as many choices as we want, as long as they're separated by a semicolon. The last option doesn't have to have a semicolon. When you're all done, hit Close and you're ready to send your email. Now I sent it to myself so I can show you what it looks like when you actually get a vote in an email. This is what they're going to see. Here's your email, and they see Vote by clicking Vote in the Respond group above. So I can come up here and cast my vote. Here's the choices that I created earlier. I can either send the response now or put in a response if I want to add some more text to it. I'm fine with sending my vote, and I'm going to hit OK. I've now cast my own vote. So let's see how to look at the results. When an email comes in, when somebody's cast a vote, it's actually going to come into my inbox like this. I can double click on it and see what they responded, but I can actually click on this little exclamation mark and select View Voting Responses. Now I can see all the people I sent the vote to, what they responded, and up top I can get a number tabulation of what the totals are. So that is how you cast a vote in Microsoft Outlook.